Hello, this is Audrey with Klein Instruments, and welcome to our quick start guide on how to get up and running with your new K10A colorimeter. When you first open the case, you'll notice several components. The K10A itself, an extension tube, Lux filter, T-pod, and rubber lens hood. Let's start by removing the K10A and setting it up on the tripod. The K10A is compatible with any tripod via a standard tripod mount. The next step is to install our software, Chromaserve. Behind this foam insert is a plastic sleeve with an install disc. All the software and the drivers you need can be installed directly from this disc. However, if you lose your install disc, everything is still available for free from the Klein website. You can download our software, Chromaserve, from our download page. The FTDI driver from Klein Colorimeter is also available. It's easiest to download the executable file for your desired platform. After Chromasurf is installed, there should be an icon on the desktop. Double click it to start Chromasurf. Let's plug our colorimeter into any available USB slot on your computer. Now we can rescan devices and select our unit from the drop down menu. Here is where it gets a bit confusing. The profile that you load to calibrate from will depend on the display you have. Today I am calibrating a Samsung LED backlit monitor. I will just double click the profile box and choose the backlit LED option from the list. If you were calibrating a Sony OLED, you would choose that profile and so on. Now we can actually position our colorimeter. The K10A was designed with the ability to measure displays from far away. But for now we will place it close to the screen to eliminate ambient light. The lens hood may also assist in eliminating light. The extension tube can be used for measuring hard to reach displays like laptops. Make sure the K10A is positioned straight on and directly at the center of the screen. Now we can get our first measurement. Go to tools and open the test panel. This is the area of the screen we will measure. Make sure the K10A is pointed only at this panel. Now if we hit measure color, we get our X, Y, Y values. And that's how to get started with our K10A colorimeter. If you need further guidance, you can watch our video on white point calibration. Thanks for watching.